beauties what's up it's your girl nikki sparks welcome back to my channel if you're new here i do relax hair care content here on youtube and on instagram so don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram so you don't miss none of my relax hair care content looking like this today in my intro because i'm washing my hair i just finished deep conditioning with heat today's video is gonna be me showing you guys how to roller set your hair and all the good tips that you need to have a successful roller set routine and i'm also gonna show you guys how to, to have straight hair like as if you blow out your hair with no heat so keep on watching hey guys i rinsed out the deep conditioner and the deep conditioner i used just in case you're wondering was the Kera care you make to conditioner again if you saw my previous video you know that i recently started using this and i love it and i, I used everything that i used on my previous video if you go check it out i will leave the link down below and it rinsed out i am two months and a half post relaxer and you guys i have a lot of new growth so i'm gonna take my time to do my roller set so first you will need the roller set obviously the roller sets you will need a rattle comb a spray bottle some clips you will also need the bobby pins um, and a white teeth comb just in case you didn't detangle your hair in the shower while removing the deep conditioner. So you guys, to have a proper roller set and for your hair to look shiny and moisturized, you need to use a moisturizing leave-in conditioner. And I recently started using this. I really like it as well. And I'm gonna take some of this this like that I make sure get my ends as well the reason I just put the little amount of leave-in conditioner that I did is because my hair is already very moisturized due to deep conditioning so if you want a good result of roller sets you must deep condition your hair make sure that you use a moisturizing conditioner and if you do use a protein conditioner you know you have to follow up with a moisturizing conditioner some people just ask me how come you does roller set dry with heat and also blow dry your hair like the dominican blowout once a week so for your hair not to get damaged you must deep condition because heat does dehydrate your hair and makes your hair dry. So if your hair is very moisturized from the beginning, then you won't have that issue. And the other reason that I don't apply much leave-in conditioner is because when you put too much leave-in conditioner, your hair will be weighed down, will be like with no life, limp, greasy, and you're gonna remove your roller set. And I guess you don't want that neither. And what I also like to do if the leave-in conditioner don't have heat protecting properties I just use a thermal protector, a heat protectant I found this, the Keracare Thermal Protector I take one pump and apply it throughout my hair especially in the ends and whatever is left on, me, on my hands I will apply it on the middle that's how I just do it now. When I tell you guys, I've been 18 years relaxed. This year is 18 years that I've been relaxed. And I never, ever, ever, thank God, had heat damage. My hair never broke because of heat. And I've been doing this since forever. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, I already told you that my mom is from the Dominican Republic. And we always, always, always use heat, whether to roll a set and to blow dry our hair. And that's just something that I know. And that's why I'm transmitting to you guys that if you do the right steps, your hair will not get damaged with heat if you use heat, let's say, once a week. Some people use heat once a year. That's fine with them. But if you're the type that want to use heat at least once a week, it's not gonna be a problem if you do the right thing and i will also make a video explaining you guys why heat is not our relaxed hair enemy i know heat has been demonized in the hair community whether it's natural hair community relaxed hair community know how to use it if you use it properly you won't have no problem 
trust me on that one so now let's start so since i'm here talking my hair got a little my roots got a little bit dry so i'm just gonna wet a little bit so i'm gonna start parting my hair and you must always always have your hair detangled before doing your roller set I just detangle my hair in the shower with the deep conditioner on so my hair is soft just parting two lines like this in the middle you do a line of roller set going back and use your fingers to actually guide you so you can have a straight line because parting is important So after you part one side, you got to remove it out of the way and make sure it's out of the way and then I'm going to do the other side and something else you need to part your hair according to the size that you're going to use. Make sure that the hair fits on the ruler set. Okay, now that we have the section parted how it's supposed to be, now we're gonna start roller setting. And you guys, the size of the rollers of the rollers are really really important when it comes to your hair, your hair health, and how your hair is gonna come out, turn out. I don't roller set to have curly hair. I just roller set just to dry my hair. So use this or this. I used to also use this in the middle here but I realized that this maybe was part of the reason that my hair was thin in here in the middle because even if my hair were long my hair is not so thick for me to use these big rollers like this even if it would roll down and basically you know set my hair it was deja um, already is it's too heavy compared to, to the smaller size is heavier and too big for my hair thickness so if your hair is really really thick and you want to use small like this and you will have to part your hair in smaller section just be prepared to have a lot of rollers <laughs> a lot of ro rollers on your head my hair is getting dry so i'm gonna wet it your hair needs to be completely damp from roots to ends, especially the ends, if you want properly good. With a rattle comb, this is why it's so important for your hair to be very detangled before you start because you need a rattle comb for your hair to be smooth for the roller application. Always like do like this and pull your hair down and because the rattle comb teeth are smaller obviously your hair is gonna be you know a little bit like this a little bit tangled up but it's nothing major so the first one you need to go straight down like this combing your hair going downwards and you need to keep your hair tight not pull it like you want to break your hair but you know tight and the most most important part is smoothing your ends on a roller set so your hair needs to be smooth 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 and while i'm rolling up i'm pulling down you know i'm putting a little bit of, of pressure here because it needs to be tight on the roller set Just like this. I keep my bobby pins in this. I have like nine years or more <laughs> having my bobby pins in this same bag because you know bobby pins they just disappear. I have the same bobby pins for so long and it's been kept here and the roller set do not need to be shaky. So if you're gonna use a bobby pin, you are not gonna put the bobby pin here because it's gonna fall off. So you're gonna put the bobby pin here in the back you see it stays still with one but i need to put two just like this 
it needs to be tight it don't need to be slack if it's slack it's not gonna your hair is gonna be looking as if you air dry it you know it's gonna be like a little bit puffy and, and frizz and have frizz when I say very tight I'm exaggerating but it needs to be tight onto the roller and we repeat you need to part your hair according to the roller set size and you need to be careful too when you part in your hair don't go too rough you know you take your time you gotta make sure that your roots is also getting the comb because every roots is tangled up trust me it's not gonna look cute and remember that doing this is gonna take some practice so take your time you will have you will need a lot of patience especially to do this and again you need to pull forward and make sure the ends it's smooth you pull forward while going backward I hope I make sense pull forward and go backwards I got basically doing my roller sets myself like nine years now. I have nine years in France and it's when I moved to France that I had to start doing my hair by myself. The hairdressers here have no idea how to deal with relaxed hair. So practice like they say, practice makes perfect. Practice and don't give up. And then from the back, I don't always use a smaller size. Okay, good. Now we're gonna do the sides. So for the sides, so now we're gonna part here, like one, two, here up to the back of your ear like this and keep it out of the side for now so me what I like to do and what I recommend to do is to from here to here you see I just part it right there and put this one out of the way Take some again and always use your finger to guide you. Your finger is your best friend, your finger are your eyes where you can't see basically. So I'm gonna wet my hair again, and if you want to do your roller sets rolling down you gotta put your hair up if you want to do your roller set rolling up you gotta comb your hair down get what i'm saying so me i'm gonna go up through the ends are very smooth on the roller set and just roll down down with your head tilt like this and you pull up and you go down while pulling up you go down voila and you also gotta make sure make sure that your bobby pins have this the little bulb at the end that's what's going to protect protect your scalp from getting scratched and also it's gonna protect your hair because when this is off it snatches your hair off obviously um and then here i just do another parting and always make sure that when you're parting, you don't take the hair from out of this roller set. It happened to me before. And 
last I do the front too. So you gotta like bring your arm here like this, pull down. So you guys, I'm done. And I put a bigger one here because for some reason, the left side of my head is less dense than this side, meaning that this side always takes less roll set than this side. Even if I put the same size, this side, if I use bigger one, this side takes two. And if I use this one here, it takes three. I don't know why, <laughs> that's just how my hair is. So since I was using smaller one, I would have to put two more here and it wasn't fitting and I don't have any more of these the smaller smaller ones to go there so I just have to put this big one here and now I'm gonna put on this not tricky I bought this on Amazon where you connect the blow dryer here because I have other priorities right now and I can't invest into a hooded dryer and the hooded dryer is at my mom's house so that when I'm doing my hair in my house I just use this for now until I get a hooded dryer for myself like this but since it doesn't stretch I have to basically take my time baby it If you do buy one of these, you will have to poke some holes. I basically have to poke some holes because the hot air was so concentrated like in one area that it was burning my scalp. So I had to poke some holes for the air to kind of like go out and circulate the way it had to do. To dry my hair, I have to do really quick but then after I have to go pick up my daughter from school. Hopefully this will dry on time before I have to go pick up my daughter. I'll be right back. So you guys, my hair is dry. I took off this one first to see if it was dry. And I was under, I had the cap on for one hour and 20 minutes. And usually with a hooded dryer, it takes about 35 minutes, 35 minutes to 40 minutes to dry the hair. I just put back the bobby pins in here because I ain't taking no chance <laughs> and let's remove this and look how easy it is to comb the hair this is how it is roller set this is the result of roller setting look at my hair so how I just do, how I just straighten my hair without having to use more heat after roller setting, I just simply take some of this, just a tiny bit, and this is the silicone mix bamboo hair polisher. So I just apply this. And what I'm gonna do is a tubi. The tubi is basically um, wrapping the hair and putting the little cap that the Dominicans use. This, the tubi cap, hair net. So the hair is gonna be straight, yeah. But your, your new growth is still gonna be a little bit puffy and with volume, so if that's what you like, it's okay. But if you want your hair really slick, you will have to um, blow dry the roots first but since I don't want to blow dry my hair this week because I'm not gonna be having it down but I'm gonna part my hair here I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna brush it because we have a lot of new growth I'm gonna use bobby pin I don't do that because that's how I learned how to do it. When I first learned how to do tubi, doing it with the bobby pins was extremely difficult for me. So I learned how to do it without. One bobby pin here. One bobby pin here. Like this. Um, in Dominican Republic, they wrap their hair like this with a bobby pin. That's why they look call it tubi. It got to be a little bit, you know, tight. 
well when i say tight i'm exaggerating but it's like like the ruler set you gotta like pull it you know what i mean here and all i gotta do is like remove it but when you're removing it don't pull it like that you need to like press down and press down while pulling it so your hair doesn't get messed up and just use the same bobby pin to flat to flatten the and i'll do the same here you see i'm pressing down words voilà. And make sure your ends needs to be extremely flat. Must do we <laughs> put the little hairnet? The head like this and then you just have to remove the bobby pins through the holes that's the trick because then the bobby pins they're gonna leave some marks on your hair i'm gonna go pick up my daughter from school and then i'll be back because you gotta leave it on you can go to sleep or leave it on for maybe an hour or two and then i'll be back and show you guys how my hair looks so you guys, I'm back from picking up my daughter. So now I'm going to show you guys the results. Let's see how the hair looks. To remove a wrap, you got to remove it, comb it on the direction that the hair is going. So you got to do like this. Because if you just go on the opposite direction, your hair can, you can break off your hair. So have that in mind nobody can say that I didn't blow dry my hair only <laughs> the only way people can tell if I did not blow dry my hair is the new growth that is puffy so this was it if this video was of any value for you give this video a big thumbs up share it to a friend and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching. See you on my next one. Mwah. Bye.